Okay, let's start. Huh? Okay, so make sure you are in the correct code. Huh? We are now in the MBE 5215, Project Management and Product Development. Right. So this, this uh, module actually um, is quite similar to your EDP, but um, we are now in the very short semester, seven weeks. Huh? Uh, uh, remember to sign your attendance. Okay. So all this you read. So already upload all these uh, on the canvas. So make sure you able to access canvas. Uh. Make sure your name is inside canvas. Uh, some of you haven't haven't logged into the canvas. So I already resend the invitation. So make sure you able to access canvas. So I want to highlight the learning outcome. Uh. So it will be same like other lecture. I'm not sure. I don't think other. I'm not sure whether other my colleagues they mentioned this, but I think this is important. So why I mentioned this one because this module you have you have tests, you have uh, final exam, and also a project. So most of this CL uh, is is the keyword where we assess you. Okay. So the first one CL one is about project management model. So the word application there. So in my class you will be assessed. Uh, in application, okay. Uh, so, uh, so first one we'll look at project management model, and then role and responsibility in the project management and product development. So this one is more on theory. L three is on the scheduling and cost implication. There, so there is a model, there is a calculation. Um, in this model or the way I give question or set question for your test and final exam. Um, as long as you see calculation, you see diagram in uh, my slides, then you need to stay, uh, pay attention. Okay, so as long as there's a formula, uh, again, a uh, formula that you need to use for this module is very easy. Okay, uh, there's no calculus, uh, there's no uh, partial differential, no. Right, so it's just a simple, uh, addition, multiplication, uh, maybe a little bit of statistics. Um, yeah, so so CL3 uh, for this course, you pay attention when you see a diagram where it can help you to elaborate the points. Uh, okay. So um, if it's, imp it, it's important or there's a tendency to come up in a test or final exam, I will mention important. Uh, okay, so things that you see with a diagram or formula. Last one is the approach used in the product development. This one will be in your report. So pay attention to all this. Huh? So every, uh, just, just to summarize what's important, um, Every, every time you see a diagram, every time you see an equation, then very high chances to come up in a test of And for this module, you won't see formula will be given in the final exam or test. You need to memorize. Okay, so you again, uh, you won't see any formula or any handbook given for your test or uh, final exam. So the formula is a bit easy for engineering students. Uh, it might seem hard for business or um, management students, but for engineering, all this formula very easy for you guys. Right? So this is my room. My room is at level five, right? C one. Um, this is my email address. So uh, okay. Uh, my consultation hour. You text me lah. This is uh, for the slides presentation. I right? just text me. You want to find me? Uh, just text me whether I'm free to see you. Huh? Okay, those uh, you haven't uh, add uh, yourself to the WhatsApp group, huh? you can scan and then add yourself there. Or later after class, you just come back to the slides and you click the link and you join. Okay, now uh, for this module, um, our learning platform, okay, our learning platform. learning platform will be canvas and inside canvas um, you will have 
our lecture PowerPoint slides every lecture. Uh, end of the lecture, I will try to upload um, by end of the day. Right. Um, usually it will be within one hour after we end the class. Right. Depends on my schedule. If I'm very busy, then I'll try to uh, upload the PPT on the canvas. And also all the lecture will be recorded. Right. Uh, it is happening now. So um, I will download the, the, the video file and upload into my YouTube channel. And then I will copy the link and paste into the canvas. So every time you, you want to study for your test or final exam, um, either you go to uh, my YouTube channel for project management, you just click there and then you play, or you can go to the canvas, you click one by one. Okay, so this is one. Um, okay. So this is a component uh, for this module. We have 60% coursework, 40% final exam. Okay, so for your final exam, uh, sorry, I think I missed up. This should be 40, eh, not 30. So 40 uh, is a written exam, two hours, all right? Uh, five question, uh, three compulsory, usually question one, two, three is compulsory. Question four, five, you choose one. Uh, each question 25 marks right so passing criteria your final like usual other like uh, other module for bachelor degree um 40 percent means out of 100 you have to score 40 percent to pass the final exam and if you add coursework and final exam you need to get total 50 percent so this is how you uh, do you have a very big component for your coursework win project 30 percent all right. Um, it depends on in my list, I should have 13 students, so it depends uh, on the group. So I will just make it easy for everyone. Maybe I'll group into two groups or three groups. It depends. Uh, maybe three groups. All right. So maybe three groups. So uh, you group yourself. Um, and then later, I will create the, uh, the, the, the group function in the canvas. You just enroll yourself into your own group, right? Yeah, so, um, so you're already in your like final year already. So you should know your classmate, right? You should know who can do work, who cannot do work. So uh, I don't want to hear any complaint because the group is you, you choose yourself, right? So I don't want to complain or he didn't do work because you choose your, your team member. You are the one who accept him into your group. So you take responsibility. Yeah. All right. So project percent, 30 percent. So this one, um, I have two, I have two ideas in my mind. One, I give you a project uh, about drone. All right. And that one is uh, industry pro is the industry problems. We will have a uh, industry visit. We go to the factory, we see one problems, and then we solve the problems. There are two approach. I haven't decided which one to go. For the industry, um, my concern is is the time. Uh, so I, I don't think we have the, the the luxury of having time because we are in the short semester, right? Yeah. Uh, I will brief you on the detail. Huh? So the drone one, my idea is that uh, because this is more on the project management and product development, my my early my 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 current. Uh, idea is that I will give you a market available drone. Your task is to disassemble, mean disassemble it, and then you try to come up with a report like how people develop this drone, what are the component, what are the expected this one, and then you assembly back. Okay, uh, so uh, or another one, industry one, you have to uh, I have to take you guys to the factory floor and then see the problems and you solve it. Okay, right. So this is the projects, uh, and then task will be twenty percent. I try to break the task into two uh, two tasks. Uh, some lecturer they you uh, they only have one task, which is uh, you only have one shot of uh, doing well or doing bad, right? So for my case, I will have two tasks. Task one ten percent, ten two ten another ten percent, and then you don't need to load your brain with uh, all the information. 
So at least you can study for like uh, three, three chapter and then you go for the test. Okay, don't worry, I will help you on the test. I'll give you scope. Every time I'll give you scope and uh, uh, the area will be coming up, right? So assignment 10%, this one, uh, this one very easy to score. Normally, uh, I will just uh, copy uh, the tutorial question. In the Canvas, they actually already upload a tutorial question. Um, if you already download, it will help you to follow along the lecture because all the points is actually um, uh, go parallel with the PowerPoint slides, right? Um, it will also help you to prepare for your uh, test for final exam. Yeah, but those uh, you haven't downloaded, then it's, it's okay. Uh, you can download it uh, after the, the class. Or if you have tablets, you can just download and open in your tablets and you use your tablets to write your notes. Eh? Okay, so we have done with the coursework. Final exam already done. Okay. Um, so these are the topics. Uh, these are the topics. So yesterday, uh, we have a public holiday, so we need to find time for the replacement. Okay, we, see, we still miss two hours in this uh, module. So uh, later we decide uh, uh, when we should put. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, as you can see, your schedule, all the class is on eight o'clock, uh, which is very suffering. All right. All right. Um, so we have lots of things to learn. Uh, so basically, this is a 14 weeks. Uh, Module, but we squeeze everything in seven weeks. Okay, uh, so we have a lot of topic to go through, but again, anyway, I will still help you when it come to tests or finance. Okay, I'll give you a very specific area you need to study. Okay. Um, there will be a group presentation report at the last week of the semester, which is week seven, right? So there will be uh, just uh, roughly, uh, just roughly, it depends on where we go through. So your test one will cover up to chapter chapter four, chapter four, or maybe chapter three. So again, test one, test two, and final exam will link to your learning outcome just now that I, I mentioned. Okay, so test two will be in the last week and then you study and then you go for your final exam. Your final exam will be around 27 July to 3 August. So I'm not sure when, uh, so this one later. Okay, so these are the reference I use. Okay. Um, right. Okay, so in my class, uh, in my class, when I say due date, pay attention to due date. Let's say I say due date 7 July, 5 p.m. Okay, make sure you submit before 5 p.m. You submit 501 in the canvas, um, straight away mark zero. Okay, this is my policy. Um, so, Pay attention to the due date. If you cannot meet the due date, negotiate with me before the due date. Don't come last minute, sir. I cannot do. Okay, I can negotiate one, but don't do last minute. Don't say, oh, sir, my group, uh, my member don't do work, cannot pass up. I already say in the first class. Uh, so negotiate. When I set the due date, negotiate before the due date come. Right? Okay, so the policy is after the due date, even you miss one minute, straight away zero uh, as a no submission. Okay, um, then class rules. If, I, if we start after 10 minutes, you consider it. After 30 minutes, you consider absent. Of course, you can still join the class, but after 30 minutes, you consider for the day eh? and uh, for the for that day eh? uh, okay and you know that for our class uh, for this module you need 80 percent attendance to sit for finance eh? 
Okay. So if you calculate one week, we have six hours. You have seven weeks, we have 42 hours. You times 0 0.8, uh, you get the number. Lah. Okay. So if your attendance fall below this number, you cannot sit for final exam. Yeah. So this one I need to highlight. Uh, don't say uh, maybe at week four, week six, uh, we need to come with the balis and then uh, when you reach final exam at week seven, then you say, hey, sir, why I cannot bar? So already pay attention uh, to, your, to your attendance. Okay, let's jump into our, our first chapter. Okay, um, since we have two hours class, uh, stop me if I talk more than 45 minutes per session. Right. Just stop me, sir. We need to take a break and we'll give you a break. Huh? Okay, so chapter one, introduction to project management. We need to know all these things. Uh, some I do not go deep. Uh, we'll go a little bit on theory. What is uh, project success, failure? This one will be more uh, more information in chapter two. Uh, occupation safety and health. This one uh, will cover under risk management. Um, law and contract on contract management and uh, intellectual properties because we deal with a project uh, product development. So you, you need to expose yourself to all these uh, IP uh, things. Okay, so give you all the rest you can read. Huh? I just uh, highlight a few things. Okay, so um, okay, before that, huh? okay, I give you how we set the question usually. Question will have A, B, C section. One question to define marks. The way I said, A usually will be definition. Simple definition. I'll ask you, this one normally will be uh, maybe five to seven marks. Right? So if a diagram, there's a definition. Right? Then second one uh, is uh, more on analysis. This one, more on a formula, diagram. This one will be 10 marks uh, to 12 marks. Then this one, the C one is more on application. This one, you need to answer how, why. Here, section B, you get a number, right? You get a number here. Section C, you need to explain what does it mean, or how you apply that number. Okay, so here, this is another, maybe this one, another 10 to 12 marks. It depends on the complexity. Okay, usually go like that. All right, so what is project? Projects, you cover all these uh, keywords. Projects is activities and tasks that have objective, specification and we will deal with a business model so it will link with the business value All right and in the project usually have a start date and the end date it is have a duration of the projects then there is a funding or budgets for the projects All right um, and then you need to lay out the resources and a loss of uh, multifunctional. Uh, this one is uh, later we'll explain this word. So it will be multifunctional, uh, meaning you have a, a group of uh, a loss of uh, department or loss of uh, area you need to focus on. Right. So if you're doing your FIP, for example, for FIP is a project. So normally projects, you have your objective. Right. And you have your. Um, aim and then you have your uh, specification what you need to uh, achieve then you have your start date end dates right you have two semester for your fyp1 for example uh, fyp1 fyp2 right two semester and funding this one uh, depends on your supervisor right or school 
uh, resources. This one usually in your report, you need to mention what are the things that uh, are the instrument you use and so on. This one you see in the methodology right? and function. So uh, for your group report, uh, for your group report, so you will be given some uh, objective and then specification in your report. Uh, you need to cover all this. And then uh, there is a gun chart you need to develop. What is the start date, end date? And then uh, there's a funding. In this case, uh, you combine with the resources. What are the resources that uh, you use for the projects? And then uh, how you manage the projects right, within your team? Uh, what are the organization chart or what? what what is the uh, role of your team member? Right. OK, so. Just now is on the projects. And then this module is project management. So project management is another definition here. So this one we use a guideline uh, from the project management uh, handbook. Uh, in the industry, we call it PMBOK guide. So this one, this this handbook is very popular if you're your 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 friend who study in the business or project management, uh, uh, PMI, they take uh, uh, some courses for the project management. They will refer this one like a bible for them, right? Ah, uh, uh, it's like everything they they refer to this this one, right? And actually, all the question for the PM uh, project management certificate uh, certification, they refer to this one. OK, so project management is application of what you know, uh, knowledge, skill, tools to achieve requirement. So management, a uh, project management, the word management is to achieve the project requirement. OK, so again, a definition like this will, will be in the section A of the question. If we want to assess your, uh, we'll give you some free marks for definition. Okay, so the rest you read, huh? the rest you read. Um, in this module, you will see a loss of, uh, we will repeat a loss of time, activity and processes. Activity and processes. And later in your diagram, in later chapter, you need to draw activities like uh, analysis uh, diagram. So you look at the activity and processes. So there are five uh, projects uh, management, five uh, process. Uh, I'll just highlight the, the main thing, the rest you read from the slides. Huh? So first one is you initiate or you start the projects. So project initiation. Um, these, all these uh, are the process, right? So when you start a project, you need to identify what are the resources you have. What are the benefit after you've done this one? What is the benefit to the company? Usually in the business sense, it bring in money. What are the profit? All right. So preparation for documents for sanction of the projects. This one is uh, in the industry. You need to do uh, in the construction projects. You need to do uh, called uh, uh, bidding. You need to bid for the projects. So you need to prepare the documents. Uh, then uh, you have a negotiation uh, later on. Huh? So uh, then they will assign a project manager. After you start the projects, you have all these, uh, uh, all these uh, follow along. You are followed by project planning. So after you initiate, you you assign the project manager already. So the manager will hold the first meeting for project planning. So project planning, you do all these things. Huh? Uh, project planning, you all these things. You define your work requirement and so on. So it means you group the team and then uh, make sure everyone in the same page. Then you plan what are the risks, what are the resources you need. So first step is project initiation. Second step is project planning. Then you execute and you monitoring, control, and then you close the projects. So there are five steps. Huh? five steps so you see the first definition five to seven marks here got five points so it's very easy to ask you question for something like this okay 
Uh, for the test, you don't need to give all the points here, at least two points. Like for example, what you do in the project execution, you just mention one, two, kind of already. You just need to elaborate what, what is happening in the project, in that uh, process. Uh, I don't look for like exactly the, the word. Huh? Okay. Uh, so important is the keyword, and then you try to explain what, what is happening there. But it must be related. Like you don't put uh, this one in the other process. Like. Okay. Okay. So once we have the definition for project, project management, and then this is a touch and go a definition for what is successful. Uh, just to summarize everything in the, all the slides in one, uh, one, uh, per, uh, one, one line. What mean by successful? You make your customer happy. You achieve the requirement. This is the summaries of what is successful. Of course, the slide will give you a lot of the uh, lots of uh, explanation, right? So, the word successful in project management, you achieve the project uh, objective, and then you link up with the resources. You use the resources effectively, and then you achieve the results by the customer. Means you make your customer happy. So it means achieve objective. You do not any you do not waste your 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 resources, right? And then um, resources here in the business sense is your capital, your cash flow, right? Um, and then your hardware. Right? For construction, you have the tractor um, and all these. Huh? So. Um, and then uh, maybe for the precast, the precast mode and all these, the, all these are your uh, resources. Huh? So, okay. so all these you read, huh? potential benefit of effective project management. So you have all these uh, criteria. All these you read, huh? Although I spent lots of time doing all this, but uh, we need to catch up with our limited time. Huh? Okay. So these are the area. These are the area where will come out in this section, in the question, application, and explain why, how you cannot achieve that uh, projects. So why can that project fail? Maybe you give you a, scena a scenario, you read, and then you solve, at the end, you get one value or get one diagram, and then you explain whether this project successful or failure. So you need to explain um, why the project fail. Normally, because of project complexity, the customer change requirement in the middle of the process. Organization restructuring, project risk, there's a change of technologies, and there's a change in the pricing or cost. Okay, so these are the, the, the points for section C question uh, where you need to explain why or how, how this project failed or, 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 or what happened to the projects. Okay, so this is the diagram. As you can see, you have one, two, and three. Traditionally, you have this kind of setup in a normal uh, company management. So you have top management, you have middle management, you have supervisor, and you have the labor, right? So from the top and then to the bottom. So as you can see here, uh, for each layer of management, there is a small gap there. Means uh, sometimes the information do not pass down from the top or the top management do not define the projects very well. So there is a gap there. So when you have gap, then you, you have uh, this scenario. So this is called management gap, where uh, sometimes in, the, in some countries or uh, those uh, um, less developed country, 
they have this seniority uh, in the organization. Uh, means, uh, oh, you cannot talk to these people if you have a certain level. Uh, so these are the gap in the uh, some company. And then this is the functional gap between department. As you can see here, this is a gap. What does it mean for the second diagram here? So um, if you go to work uh, later, um, some company, um, department and department, they don't talk to each other. For example, uh, if you go to manufacturing, sometimes the planning and the design, product design team, they don't talk to each other. Or the production and the planning, they don't, they, they don't communicate well. So they, they are unable to deliver the products on time. So like for example, engineering department, uh, they are so concerned about their own department and they do not tell the, the, the true situation in the tooling department. And then the production floor only uh, supply the, the operation to do the things, right? So when the operator, they, they cannot operate the machine, and then the, 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 the line stop. The line stop, and then they will bring the tooling back to the uh, engineering department to fix it. So when there's a gap of communication, then the projects will delay. So if you plus the, if you take the management gap and the functional gap, then you get the operation island. Means you, you combine the gap here, you overlap the two things, you get the functional gap and also you get the management gap. We call it island. What does it mean? This is island, 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 island. This small one are the small island. It means that everyone uh, keep to themselves. Uh, uh, in the Cantonese, kiki ku kiki, you know, uh, means you, you take care of your own self only. Uh, so uh, uh, as long as you secure the job, uh, you, you then okay. Uh, so it become a, a, a operation in uh, island. Okay. So these are all the explanation that I've done just now, right? So for the management gap, it's more on the prestige. Yeah? Uh, then uh, functional gap. So all this you read. Lah. This is more on the, the textbook uh, expected answer when you come to pass or final exam. So for example, it asks you in section one, because this one you can draw. You can draw, you can explain. So normally it will come in the uh, section A definition uh, things. So it will tell you, uh, it will ask you, explain um, how operation island can be formed in a, in, uh, in, in, in a company. Explain using diagram. Uh, something like that. So you draw the, this, this three diagram and then you elaborate uh, each one of it. Okay, so in this case, if you have operational island, the very important person is the project management uh, manager. All right. If you watch the Marvel superhero, this project manager will be like a Captain America. He's the one who gather all the superhero um, and take charge. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is where the project manager uh, roles come in to fill in the gaps. Uh, yeah, so this is give you one, one, uh, one uh, important point for the role of project management. Uh, okay, so the question might ask you like, for example, uh, explain how operational island can be formed in the, uh, in the institution or in the company. Um, and how you solve the issues or give a solution to the issues. So the solution is to hire or to have a good project manager who can communicate with the management and the different department, for example. Okay. Okay. So these are overview of a uh, 
further lengthy definition for product management. Um, so you, this one you can read lah. Huh? So um, if the question just want to want to help you to score some marks, it was just a very short question. Uh, based your understanding in project management, give definition of the word project management. So basically, you expect all these highlighted points lah. Okay. So you need to highlight the uh, product management, ma management is dealing with company resources to, uh, to achieve specific goal or objective. Um, and project management also use a system to control functional personnel to a specific project. In those you can read, I go very fast. Huh? I just uh, highlight a few important points. So a classical management co usually consider five function and five principle. You have one, two, three, four, five. You start with planning, then you organize, you do stuffing, you do control, you do directing. So these are the five uh, function principle and also can be a potential for area one or section one definition. Uh, first definition, the first one is five to seven marks. As long as there's a point that we can ask you and you can explain it, uh, then there's an area where we ask you question. Right? So, um, so the later, the, early, uh, the modern um, definition, they already removed the stuffing component. Right, the rest you read. Huh? Just now is the one that we defined just now in the previous slides. So in the previous slides, you see the product management here do not mention about uh, stopping already. Okay. Why? Because in the modern project management, project manager does not belong to the staff, uh, do not staff the project, means that Project manager, he do not go down to the floor to do it. For example, if a shipping projects, the project manager don't do the welding. The project manager don't do the uh, uh, budget analysis, uh, means don't do the finance, do the billing and all this. He have his own uh, department, he need to communicate. And then he group all these people to form the project team. Okay. So again, a new word for today, line, responsibility. Line, later you see a uh, lot of, uh, you frequently use the word line, especially when the later chapter you do analysis. Line, it just means department. A very specific department, for example, engineering department, uh, production department. It, in the project management, they call line. Uh, production line, uh, financial line, and all this. Okay. So, the head of all this line, they call line manager. Okay. So uh, this statement here is important. Project manager have the right to request specific resources, but the final decision as what resources will be committed rest on the line manager. For example, I'm the project manager. You are the engine head of uh, uh, engineering department. You are the chief engineer. So I can I can tell you I I can ask. Ask for your uh, the list of equipment for these projects, or ask you to give me the required uh, equipment for these projects because I need to do planning. Um, but when we launch the projects, the head or you are the one who decide uh, what are resources you need to. Uh, when you do the projects, you are the one who decide what are the proper equipment you need to use. Okay, so this is the. Uh, the differences between project manager and line manager. Yeah. Okay. So the definition just now, you mentioned about the relative short-term projects. So in engineering, we need, we, we always uh, like to quantify the terms, means we give a number to that terms. 
how how short is short, how sh how long is long, right? So in engineering, uh, short term it may be six months to two years. It depends on what you do. But for construction, it can be three to five years because you need to build a skyscraper or things, right? Um, but now the day China, um, they are very smart in the construction. They can build mega projects in weeks, right? Because they have the technologies. They have the intellectual properties IPs, huh? All right. Um, so long projects. Uh, this one you wait, huh? So I think we have a short break because we have almost 45 minutes, right? So we have a short break. So we, uh, we continue nine o'clock, right? Continue nine o'clock. We have a short break.